Hey Roger, this is Jeremy with Toriar Digital Marketing. You spoke with my associate Ashley this morning, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video to see how we can help your business. Uh, we're just making this quick video to kind of show you how to improve your website just so you can bring in some more customers for free. I know you're probably wondering why would we even do this for you, especially for free, right? It's really simple. After operating a few businesses myself, including real estate, uh, I know that business owners reach a point where they are too busy running their business to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more customers. The only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they don't know who's an expert and who's not. So we found that by making these attack plans and giving them away for free, there's still a lot of business owners who end up calling us back and asking us to do this stuff for them. So if after all this you see, I've got some tricks up my sleeve that will really help you out, you can always give us a call back and we can chat. If you want to take this information and just fix your website yourself, please do. This is free education. I'm going to talk to you about three things today. Uh, first is content, then backlinks and citations. Okay, so your your site actually looks really professional. I love this logo, by the way. Your site looks really professional. Um, uh, you've got a whole bunch of featured homes down here. Now, being that I've been in real estate before, I, I know that these are probably just like, you probably just like got an MLS feed down here. Um, so they're not necessarily like uh, contracted that, that you have. Um, but it makes it look like you're a contractor, like a, the average person would think that. So that's that's actually a good thing. And you got a whole bunch of condos down here too, which is also a high keyword. Okay, you got some reviews down here. So you've actually got some some good stuff on here. Um, and it looks like it looks really professional. It looks really well laid out. Um, there's a missing video. It looks like right here though. Um, might want to look into that because it says check out the video below, and there's no video there. So you might want to look into that. Um, but uh, so, but Google doesn't rank you based on appearance, unfortunately. Um, like, it, it, as beautiful as your website is, what they rank on, they basically go back into the code and they're looking at all the words on your site. They're looking at uh, what's behind, uh, what your pictures are named as, stuff like that. Okay, whoops, that's not what I want to do. I can't grab that now. So, we're actually going to find out exactly how many words you have on your homepage here. Um, copy this. Um, and we're going to put it in a word counter real quick, okay? So, <clears throat> so right now you have 300 words on your home page. What Google really likes to see is about 1,500 words on the home page and about 500 on each uh, service page, okay? That's just the minimum that Google likes to see. Um, like, like if your competitor has uh, 1,700, you're going to want like at least 2,000. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so the next thing we're going to take a look at uh, real quick is we're going to take a look at your backlinks. Okay, so right now this is your backlinks record. And as you can see, it's pretty much blank. Um, like Google doesn't even know you exist. Like you've got no data in a lot of spots here. So they don't even know you exist. You have a website sitting out in cyberspace that's just like like hanging there by a thread. Okay, um, we, need to, we need to fix that. Okay, so backlinks is basically when somebody links back to your site um, with, with, your, with your business name, with a keyword, uh, whatever it may be, okay? Um, so I'll explain more about what these numbers mean when we get to your competitors since you don't really have anything here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and talk about your competitors. Now, this is a this is a franchise company. We buy ugly houses. Um, and as you can see, they've got, uh, they've got a little bit of content, but obviously nowhere near that 1,500 words. I mean, we can find out real, real quick how many words they have. So take a copy here. Go ahead and... Throw it in here. Um, they have 573 words, nowhere near the 1500 words, right? Um, but since they are a franchise company, their their main page does have that, uh, probably does have that 1500 to 2000 words. Okay, they probably got even more than that because they're a national, they're a national franchise company. So, um, so they get a little bit of juice that comes back to their location pages for that. So, it, like, it it takes a little bit more to rank them locally. Um, but not as much as you would think, being that just because they're a national company doesn't mean they can't be outranked, okay, um, especially locally. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at their backlink record. Now, now I pulled up just their backlink record just for the Indianapolis area, for this specific back page of theirs, okay? So they've got 34 backlinks coming from 11 referring domains. This means that 11 websites are sending them 34 backlinks. So that's what, roughly, on average, about three links per site that's sent, that they're sending, right? Um, now, what's probably going on is there's probably like one site sending like 18 to 20, um, and the rest of them are sending like one or two apiece. That's usually how it ends up being. So um, they've, they've got 14 keywords that they're showing up for, and there is a lot more keywords than that. There's hundreds, hundreds of keywords out there, okay? 
So what we can do is we can actually find the ones that they're not even ranking for um, and rank you for those as long as they have good volume on them. Volume meaning people that are actually searching those terms. Okay. Um, and that they're only getting 18 traffic a month from this, but that's because they only got 14 keywords. So they're only really picking up the, that top spot for like one or two of the top keywords and that's it. Um, and plus a lot of people, a lot of people see their site, their site does not look as good as yours. So they're not converting as easily as yours. And a lot, and anybody who knows anything about the real estate investment industry knows that this company, um, yes, they're a franchise company, um, but they're 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 not as good as like a regular local company, a local investor that actually knows what they're doing and knows the Indianapolis area like you do. Okay, so um, so last thing we're going to talk about real quick, we're going to talk about citations. Okay, so citations is what gets you on this map pack right here. This, a lot of people don't realize that this actually does have a ranking factor. Okay, so this map pack right here. Um, when you get citate now, what what is a citation? A citation is name, address, phone number, um, in various directories around the web. Very similar to backlinks, um, and but the these depend on the phone number more than they do the actual link. Okay, sometimes they double as both. Um, but the more citations you have, and and same with backlinks, quality matters too. You want you want good quality backlinks and citations. And the reason Google like uh, checks that. Is because anybody can like throw up, throw up a free website off of like Wix or something like that. Um, they can throw up a free website and just start backlinking the crap out of their site. And and that used to work back in like the early 2000s, back when SEO started being a thing. But Google's gotten smarter than that. They they know that that's basically what 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 we call black hat SEO now. Um, and so that they they actually penalize websites for that uh, for doing that. So um, so you really want good quality backlinks, um, uh, mostly good quality. Uh, if you have a few that are like lower on the totem pole, that's okay. But um, so uh, with that said, well, what, what you want to do is get get as many uh, good quality ones as you can. And basically, we do the same thing. One of the things we do both with backlinks and citations, we find out how many how many your competitors have. Um, we find the exact ones your competitor has, and we go after those same ones. Okay. Um, and then it, it, like it, and then if that's if that's not working, we'll go find fifty to hundred more. Of good quality ones, um, and add those as well. So, um, so basically, your like your your backlink and citation record is going to match all these top people right here. Okay, um, so so that's going to put you in that first position. That's that's the whole goal. All right. So uh, if you follow these three tips today, you can actually dominate Google. So I know you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can either take this information I gave you and apply it yourself. That's totally okay. This is free education. I just asked that you give me some feedback to let me know what you thought about the video. If you'd rather get some help getting this stuff done or you just want to focus on your business and let somebody else handle it for you, just give us a call. Have a great day.